Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday devotional from the South Freeport Congregational Church on this November the 17th. It is great to be back with all of you this week because last week I was traveling and did not do a devotional for you. However, we did use the time last Wednesday to take a moment in honor of Veterans Day to say thank you to all of our veterans within our community of faith and those in our lives who have served our country. So to each one of you, I will also say thank you for your service. Well, as we come into this time, wherever you are, in what is becoming a busier time for us as the holidays approach, I invite you to just be in a moment of stillness, a moment of pause with me. Take a deep breath and just allow yourself to be aware of the presence of God that is surrounding you the presence of the Holy Spirit that comes to each and every one of us from across the miles. Well, I think it goes without saying that Thanksgiving is just one week away and what is the official start of the holiday season. We are already planning, maybe you've been planning for weeks already, but we are planning those meals, we are buying the groceries, we're setting a schedule, we're finding that the oven schedule the oven times and how long it takes to cook things is really starting to control our lives to a degree as we plan out those meals. And so we are preoccupied with the holiday this year because so many of us did not get the chance to gather last year in the midst of the pandemic. And so we are excited to be with family and friends around the table enjoying a wonderful meal this year. But you know, unfortunately, Thanksgiving for many will be just like last year, and the year before that, and the year before that, and maybe even years prior to that. There are those in our communities around the state and the country where Thanksgiving is going to be just another day. Hopeful for a meal, shelter from the cold for a couple of hours, a touch of kindness from strangers. Did you know that in the state of Maine alone, there are around 2,100 people who are homeless for any number of reasons? We only have to drive through the streets of Portland on any given day to see homelessness in our backyards. Well, Matthew 25, 40 says, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. The question is, who are those brothers and sisters? Your brothers and sisters are me and you and they are also the homeless, the forgotten, the overlooked, those that live on the fringes of society. They too are our brothers and sisters. As we think about the Thanksgiving celebrations ahead, I invite you to also think about those whose Thanksgiving meals depend upon our kindness and generosity. As we're buying those groceries, let us buy some extras of everything and give to those organizations that will help make Thanksgiving a reality to the least of these amongst us. God bless you and God keep you. Amen.